everybody, it's Brian. Here's a full yard tour of my tropical yard located near Seattle, Washington. Now it's been unseasonally warm this fall. We've had most days in the high 70s to low 80s. So things are a little bit different than they normally are at this time of the year. Starting off, let's get into the Musa Bastus. They got to about 16 feet this year. Overall, they did really well. I had seven of them in total that flowered. And so those stems will be gone next year, but that's okay. I was gonna move a bunch of stuff around anyway. We have lots of new pups that have shot up and some plants that are new from last year. So I expect similar results next year, although maybe not quite so many that flower. Here's a peek at the orange hot lava that I have that sits underneath these bananas. Moving on, we've got some blue java bananas next to those. These were new for me this year. They got to about seven-ish feet tall, the taller ones. Got a little one in the middle as well. I didn't get any pups off of these this year, but I would assume next year I'll get some pups. Then we've got one of our Trachycarpus fortunae or windmill palms. This I put in the ground about two and a half years ago. It was just uh, around four feet tall, a little over a meter. I brought it home in the back seat of my CRV. You can see the tip of the fronds now are about 10 feet tall. So it's grown a lot since I brought this thing home. Next to it, we've got elephant ears. These are also new this year. They got to about four feet tall. Some of the larger leaves are about two and a half feet. They did really well for the size of the bulbs. When I bought them, I got these off of Amazon. They came, the bulbs were kind of small. I was like, oh man, these aren't gonna be that big, but they did really well. And in the back here, we've got one of the two angel wing begonias that I put in the ground. This thing has done so well. Looks like it belongs here. I am going to pull this one out of the ground soon, stick it in a pot and keep it alive inside for the winter. Next, we've got color guard yucca. The big one flowered for me this year, so I expect that one to disappear. We've got a few new babies that have shot up and a couple of older plants that were here from previous years. The sword ferns have gotten big uh, and filled this area in nicely. Next to them, we've got the Kong plant looking very red with the purple flowers still there. Then we've got one of my larger red hot pokers this put out about 18 flowers and it was more than I had expected. It put out two last year, so we got two waves of flowers. It did really well. It's getting a little big. I might divide this next year. Then next to it, not tropical, but very popular here in the Pacific Northwest, a Japanese maple tree. This I grew from a seed from my last house. It's about five years old now, oh, six years old and it's about seven feet tall. Next, we've got maybe a Musa Zabrina. <laughs> this is one of the mystery ones still. I bought it as a Musa Sikimensis. It appears to be a dwarf variety, probably a Zabrina. Uh, it's got a couple of pups. We're going to leave it in the ground and see what it does. 
Now I just finished redoing all the bamboo behind the hot tub. I thinned it out and had to rebuild the box that was behind it. It started to rot and don't want bamboo going everywhere. So it's thinner than it normally is. And this will look like this until next summer when it puts out new shoots. And we've got our baby Mediterranean fan palm here with its two little new trunks that it grew this year. Overall, it did pretty well. It hasn't gotten a lot bigger, but shot out a couple of new fronds and with the new trunks, I'm pretty happy with it. Over to one of the Pindo palms. This Pindo palm is in a pot with a bunch of pansies and a couple other flowers. Uh, it got drowned a little bit this year, but it's still healthy. It's doing well. It's pushing out spears and uh, we'll get all the pansies cleared out here pretty soon. And that will live there for the winter. Over to the flower bed area here. We've got our experimental Musa Basju patch. This is the one that I cut down to the ground. It's doing well along with some of the others this was a division that i did of the corm of one of them and a couple other little experiments another new pup coming out there and looking good on to the canna lilies that i have in the backyard these are the australia variety still pushing out new flowers because of the warmth might get one or two more this is an end set that will come inside for the winter. And then we've got the Musa Double Mahoy. This was another new one that I got this year just because it sounded cool. Um, it's got a little pup on it and he'll come inside for the winter here pretty soon. Looking at some random flowers, some echinacea, uh, and some of the other things that I planted in this area, we've got some dianthus. Uh, these things, the flowers are so white. I, I just thought it was amazing how white the flowers are in the sunlight. Some more echinacea. Next, we've got the pygmy date palm. This was its first year outside for the summer. It's put on a fair amount of new growth and looking pretty good. Next, we've got the random box of randomness and a windmill palm as well as the coconut palm that I purchased. The sage really took over. I did not expect the sage to really get this big. Uh, gonna have to move that coconut palm still alive it's doing okay colder nights nights are down into the low 50s high 40s it'll come inside soon over here we've got another windmill palm and heliconia we've got a lobster claw that did okay i scorched it when i got it so had some of them die but we've had some new growth on it it'll come inside soon And then we have also got a bird of paradise over here. This was a Home Depot special. Doing okay, it'll also come inside. We've got my older, larger Pindo palm over here in this pot. This thing has about a nine inch base on it, nine inch diameter trunk on it. It's as happy as can be pushing out new fronds. It's Grown a fair amount this year and looking forward to another season. And then we've got the mule palms behind it. I'll leave these outside as long as it's warmer. Uh, put them in the sun, sun in air quotes, <laughs> uh, for the winter. Uh, we will uh, keep them out as long as it's not super cold. And that's it. 
Thanks for tuning in. It's probably downhill from here. Stuff is either going to get pulled inside or start dying, but um, it was a great season overall. Slow to start, but we had the end of summer extend out through the middle of October, so can't complain too much about that. Thanks for watching. Any questions about any of the plants you saw, drop them down below. Happy growing.